In this short video, we're going to learn how to resize a sprite. So this is the, um, what is it? It's the object player and it's the sprite woman. So we're going to learn how to resize that. The first way I'm going to do this is just with a key press. So in the object player, I'm going to add an event and I'm going to say when key is pressed and I'm just going to choose my number pad zero just because it's something easy for me to get to. And I'm going to say that set the instant scale and it's going to be two. Uh, actually, it's not going to be two because it's going to be too big. Let's put it at 1.5 and 1.5. There we go. So that's what's going to happen when I press zero. And I'm also going to set another one to shrink it again. So uh, here we go. So when I key press uh, one, yep, then I'm going to do that and it's going back to one. Okay, well, let's see if that works. Okay, so there's my player. I press zero and she becomes bigger. I press one and she goes back to normal size. Now, you will notice there that if I go back and forth with her, then she's going to change. Oh, actually, oh no, I took out the back and forth code. Um, so she doesn't, she loses her size. So you could do that with the variable so that it would stay a new size. But if you basically just want to scale it, then that's how you do it. So I'm going to show you another way of doing this, uh, something else that you might want to do. So let's say that key prad zero makes it larger. I'm going to delete the one that makes it smaller because I don't actually care about that at the moment. So I'm going to set the instance and then I'm going to set an alarm. So I'll actually just drop that on there. There it is. So I'm setting an alarm. I'll put it underneath. Uh, so I'm setting alarm one for 30 ticks. Uh, which is 30 frames, which is one second. And then I'm going to say add event. When alarm zero goes off, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink that again. Oops, that's the wrong one. I'm going to shrink that. So there you go. So it'll go back to normal size after one second. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, so there's our sprite. I make it large and it goes small again. Gee, that 30 frames looks more like half a second. So maybe there's 60 frames in a second. But as you can see, it has changed size for a certain amount of time. Okay, and let's look at one last way to do this. So I'm going to create an object here. Uh, so new object. And I'm going to call this object pill. Or object large pill. There we go. I'm going to give it a sprite that I created earlier, which is pill and I'm going to give it an event. So, actually, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to give my event to my player. So, when my player has a collision with object pill, then what it's going to do is it's going to get bigger. So, let's go 1.5. There we go. And now I will put the pill into my level. So let's just find my level, which is actually called a room. There we go. So I click on that. You know what? I might just choose my room from up here. Okay, this is not perfect, but it will do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the pill there so that the player can run into it. What I might actually do is just go and turn off the, um, the snapping so that I can get it more in my player's path. It's a little bit small there, but you know, I can't fix that at the moment, or at least I can't remember how to. So... Let's save and run that and see that pill in action. Okay, so there's the pill. I move forward and I hit it, and I got large. I got large. There we go. So, there are a few ways that you can change the size of your sprite.